The Underwater Alphabet Book by Jerry Polota, illustrated by Edgar Stewart. The Underwater Alphabet Book by Jerry Polota, illustrated by Edgar Stewart. Jerry Polota writes the words, Edgar Stewart draws the pictures. If you look underwater on any of the coral reefs of the world, you will see an incredibly beautiful place. Wow, coral reefs may be the most interesting places on Earth. A coral reef is made of millions of animals called corals. Corals have hard skeletons that attach to each other, forming huge colonies. A coral colony can be almost any shape, and many different colonies form a reef. Hundreds of other creatures live among the corals. There are seaweed, sponges, crabs, anemones, snails, fanworms, and many more. The most colorful creatures living in the coral reefs may be the fishes. A. 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 A is for angelfish. There are enough different kinds of angelfish in the world for someone to write an angelfish alphabet book. The one on this page is a flame angelfish. It looks like the flame on a candle. B. 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 B is for basslet. Baby eagles are called eaglets. Baby pigs are called piglets. But baby bass are not called basslets. Basslets are little fish that are different from bass. Here we have a candy striped basslet, a black cap basslet, a fairy basslet, and two orange fairy basslets. C. C. C is for cowfish. Moo! Don't be silly. Cowfish do not moo, but some people think that they look like cows with horns. A cowfish has bony plates on the outside of its body. You could say that this fish lives inside its own box. D. 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 D is for dolphin. A dolphin is a mammal that breathes air through the blowhole on the top of its head. Dolphins are considered one of the smartest creatures in the ocean. Remember... These dolphins are not fish. D. D is also for dolphin. Is this a mistake? No, it's not. There is also a fish called a dolphin. In Spanish, it is called a dorado. D could also be for dorado. In Hawaii, it is called a mahi-mahi. Dorados have been known to smash their heads into the life rafts of people lost at sea. E. 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 E is for eagle ray. Eagle rays swim by flapping their wing-like fins. Rays are related to sharks. Rays and sharks do not have bones in their bodies. Their skeletons are made of cartilage. Your ears are also made of cartilage. F. 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 F is for four-eyed butterfly fish. This fish does not really have four eyes. It has two eyes, just like other fish, but it also has two fake eyes. Its real eye is hidden by a black line running across the side of its face. The fake eye may make its enemies think it is going where it has already been. G. 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 G is for grunt. When grunts are in or even out of the water, they make little grunt sounds. <coughs> grunt, 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 oink, oink, grunt. Grunts sometimes look like they are kissing. Maybe they are kissing. No kissing is allowed in this book. H. H. H is for hammerhead shark. Hammerheads have been known to travel long distances in large groups. They do not stay on coral reefs, but they do visit because there are so many fish there. 
A shark can detect another fish by the electrical current made in the other fish's body. H. H. H is also for humu humu nuku nuku apua. These fish make nests on the bottom of the ocean. The humu humu nuku nuku apua is also called a trigger fish. In Hawaii, there is a popular folk song all about the humu humu nuku nuku apua. Its very long name means the fish which has a needle, has a snout, and oinks like a pig. I, I, I. I is for indigo hamlet. The word indigo means blue. The indigo color allows this fish to hide in the blue ocean. Other hamlets have different colors and different names, but some scientists think they're all actually one kind of fish. J, J, J. J is for jackknife fish. This fish probably got its name because it is shaped like an open jackknife. Fish make a lot of funny noises. Some fish grunt, chirp, squeal, buzz, and squeak. The jackknife fish croaks like a frog. Do you think any fish sing shooby dooby dooby doo boo? There are three basic kinds of coral reefs. A fringing reef extends from the shoreline. A barrier reef is offshore. Between a barrier reef and the land is a lagoon. An atoll is a circular collection of reefs with a lagoon in the middle. K. K. K is for king angelfish. King angels are territorial. They act like kings. They do not like other king angels in their territory. Hey, out of the way! L. L is for lionfish. Other fish and scuba divers stay away from lionfish because some of, because some of its spines are poisonous. In different parts of the world, this fish is called a scorpionfish, a firefish, a zebrafish, a dragonfish, and a turkeyfish. M is for man o' war. This jellyfish is one of the few ocean creatures that floats on the surface. Stay away. The man o' war is one of the most poisonous of all jellyfish. The top of its body is shaped like a sail on a sailboat, and the wind blows it around. Its tentacles can grow as long as a telephone pole. M. Mmm. M. N. N. N is for nudibranch. Nudibranches are sea slugs. Slugs? Sea slugs are not fish. They are mollusks, just like clams and snails. A nudibranch is like a snail without its shell. The one on this page is crawling on a red sponge. On the Great Barrier Reef near Australia, there are more than 400 different kinds of nudibranches. O, ah, O. O is for the old wife. The old wife lives in warm waters on coral reefs. It also lives in cold o ocean water. Not many fish swim in both warm and cold waters. This fish has two dorsal fins on its back. Coral reefs exist only in warm tropical waters. Reef building corals cannot live in seawater that is too cold or too warm. Uh-oh, there's that shark again. Yikes, it's a great white shark. A baby shark is called a pup. This one is no pup. P. P. P is for porcupine fish. The porcupine fish is a slow swimmer. For protection, it blows itself up into a big ball of sharp spines. Anything crazy enough to eat a porcupine fish is in for a surprise and maybe a stomach ache. Q. 
Q is for queen conch. Queen conchs are big snails. The inside of their shells is, is pink and incredibly smooth. It is getting harder and harder to find queen conchs because people like to collect their shells. If people are not careful, pretty soon there will be no queen conchs left. People, appreci people everywhere have to learn to appreciate the ocean, respect the sea creatures, and do everything they can to help keep the ocean clean. Q. Q. R. R. R is for ribbon eel. The ribbon eel is long and very thin, like a piece of ribbon. It is so thin that it can hide in tiny crevices in rocks and coral. Baby ribbon eels are so clear that you can see through them. Ribbon eel, you have a strange nose. S. 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 S is for sweet lips. A group of fish is called a school. Sweet lips swim in large schools. The ones on this page are called spotted sweet lips. They have nice big yellow lips. T. T. T is for tomato clownfish. This fish makes its home among the tentacles of an anemone of an an <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. This fish makes its home among the tentacles of an anemone. The anemone stings and kills other small fish, but not the clownfish. By staying in the tentacles, the clownfish is safe from other fish who might eat it. You. Uh. You. You is for the upside-down jellyfish. Most jellyfish try to keep their domes upward and their tentacles downward. The upside-down jellyfish, however, goes to the bottom, flips itself over, and eats upside down. V. 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 V is for veined shrimp. It is also called a peppermint shrimp because of its bright red and white stripes. Bane shrimps are one of the many ocean creatures who are cleaners. They clean the bodies and even the mouths of other fish. Most of the fish do not eat their cleaners. Be nice, moray eel. W. W is for wrasse. There are hundreds of different kinds of wrasses in dozens of different sizes, shapes, and colors. Some wrasses change color and shape as they grow older. X. X. X is for Xanthidae. The crab on this page is called a coral crab. It is one of the crabs in the crab family Xanthidae. A crab has to shed its shell in order to grow large. The shedding of its shell is called molting. Why? Why is for yellow seahorse. This creature is a fish, but it does not even look like a fish. It has no fins on its curly tail. It uses its tail to hold on to seaweed and coral. Before we get to the end of the alphabet, did you know that some corals are not hard? There are soft corals such as sea fans and sea whips. On this page, there is an orange sea whip. Z, z, z. Z is for the zebra pipefish. Seahorses and pipefish are very similar. Marine biologists jokingly call a pipefish a straightened out seahorse. The zebra pipefish has a zillion stripes on it. All right, did the illustrator paint an exact mirror image of the Y page or did the printing company simply flip-flop the page? Here's a secret. It was flip-flopped. Oh no, it's the end!